What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to the fourth episode of the Quidditch Champions campaign. And um, yeah, we're now in the Tri Wizard House Cup um, tournament. Uh, we just beat Bobaton, and we're going to go on to the next match against Hogwarts. And um, there was something that I was thinking about during the last episode that I wanted to talk about. Um, but we didn't really have much time left, so that's why I kept it for this episode right here. Um, I have an idea, which would be pretty cool in my opinion. I was talking about, you know, putting together a competitive team for once um, the competitive mode comes out. And maybe, how cool would it be to hold our own tournament, right? What if I could put together uh, a little community of people who like this game i want to play this competitively as well they can put together their own teams and we could you know do a whole tournament and maybe we could have some cool prizes or i don't even know but i i feel like they're we should be able to do something like that and i think it could be a lot of fun right like just playing with a bunch of other harry potter nerds just like myself and you probably since you're watching this <laughs> um and then just have fun, you know, in Quidditch Champions and play a tournament, have fun with each other, maybe even learn from each other, right? Maybe people already came up with a certain strategies or mechanics that other people haven't figured out yet. I think it could be really cool to have something like that. So if you think a tournament would be a cool idea, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I think it should definitely be doable to arrange something like that. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. I would absolutely love to set up something like that. Where is the damn ball? Come here. My ball! No, I am terrible. No, 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 no. Keeper, 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 keeper. That's my ball. <laughs> Remember last episode when I said I wasn't good at keeping in this game? I, I was joking. I am the absolute best keeper alive. That was the most panic save I've ever had. How didn't they score? What was my team doing there? I was expecting a pass, but didn't get anything. There we go. Hogwarts is not gonna win against me. It's just not... Oh, that was so bad. I completely missed that one. Okay. 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 Come on. Faster. No! Oh my days. Did you guys see that little bug right there? Where I tackled them and it didn't really connect with the other player? That's something that I've noticed in the online mode as well. And it probably has to do with people having a poor connection. Because, yes, yes, I, I know what you're going to say. You probably have a bad connection yourself. I can guarantee you, I play with a LAN cable. Um, I have <laughs> one and a half gigs of download speed. Uh, my internet's fine, right? But there were other people in the lobby that had the worst connection ever. And the, the lobby was just completely lagging. And it was just unplayable. Man, like, I'm telling you, I wasn't even able to move properly. It felt like a PS3 game type lag. You remember back uh, on the PS3 with Call of Duty when... Um, you're, if you're old enough, <laughs> um, on the PS3 when uh, Black Ops, the first Black Ops came out, there were so many lag servers, like so many laggy lobbies. It was unbearable and you wouldn't be able to move. And then the one second you would be on the complete opposite side of the map and then you would teleport back and stuff like that. That's how that lobby felt yesterday in Quidditch Champions. So they're going to have to work on that, but I can't really blame them. <clears throat> I mean, it was release day and I'm, I'm pretty used to games having a pretty poor connection on release day ah oh, they caught this snitch sure i'll let you guys have the snitch that's fine i'll come back anyway i'll come back anyway i'm not gonna lose the hogwarts no matter what it takes i'm not gonna lose the hogwarts okay there we go we're gonna oh dang yo that was a sharp tackle right there but i got it back okay dodge and my goal. There we go. Counter attacks for the win. 
But the more I keep thinking about it, honestly, I think that with some minor improvements, like it doesn't have to be like any game breaking or game changing. Well, it would be game changing, but it doesn't have to be anything big to make this game great, right? The game is good. It's really good. It's fun. I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself, but it could be great. And with just a, you know, with some fine tuning and what's their keeper doing? What's their keeper doing? Okay, that was the easiest goal ever. But with just some minor fixes, you know, the, the, the connection, like the stability of the lobbies, then the um, maybe some minor mechanical um, changes. It could be a great game, honestly. Yo, they're trying to hit me with those bludgers for real. Okay, okay, okay. No way they dodged that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep. I got this. I got this. No, 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 no. Okay, my team got this. Okay, 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 okay. Give me the ball. 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 Dodge. And see you. There we go. Toxicity. Yep. But yeah, some minor changes will actually make this game really, really fun and even better. And I, I can't wait to find out what they have in store for us in terms of more content, whether that be like cosmetic items or maybe a more full story mode or stuff like that. I feel like they could do so many things with this game, even though, once again, I still feel like Quidditch should be a part of um, of Hogwarts Legacy. This game has its own charm, and it is charming in its own right, so it, it should be able to become a really, really good game. They just need to make sure to listen to the community, right? There is so many live service games that don't listen to their community and are just in it for the money, but they're already one step ahead with this game since there's no microtransactions, right? They're already one step ahead, so all they have to do is stay ahead. And how you do that is simply by listening to your, your core fan base, right? The people that play every day. And if they provide you with a valuable feedback and input, you need to listen to that. And I sincerely hope that they'll do, the, uh, do that with this game so that this game doesn't flop. Because I see the potential. I definitely see the potential. And the Bobatons are going to get messed up. I'm, I'm going to try and win this match as soon as possible. I want to see how long it's going to take me if I'm, you know, going to speed run this win. There we go. Okay. And I will say that I'm getting more and more comfortable with the controls, even though I still think they're clunky. I feel like everything besides, like, the drifting is, is pretty okay now. I suppose I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I still need to become better for when I'm playing online because... Oh, no way I got knocked out. That's the first time I got knocked out, actually. But um, I feel like there's probably a bunch of people already a whole lot better than me, right? So I need to become better. And I'm trying to improve myself in PvE now and then play some multiplayer on the side. But I want to be ready for when the ranked game mode comes out. Because I'm definitely grinding the ranked game mode. I'm 100% grinding that. Also, I did my first impression video. Um, but I will also be making a full-on review after having uh, played this game for a while. Because I feel like this is one of those games that you need to play for quite a bit before you can make a full review. That's why I was very careful with my words when I was making the first impression video. I called it first impression because it was just a literal first impression when I opened the game. What if, uh, you know, my sentiment towards the game as soon as I opened uh, or booted up the game. Okay. Okay. Okay, try and tackle me. <laughs> See you. There we go. There we go. These bludgers, they really are trying to kill me. 
it's pretty pretty stupid if you think about it right these kids are just high school students they're flying on their broomsticks at like 100 miles per hour basically trying to kill each other <laughs> it doesn't make any sense what kind of school would allow this what kind of school would allow this that's <laughs> if you think about it it's really messed up and i bet there's a bunch of teachers within the harry potter universe just betting on their students right like they're just betting on matches and they're probably gonna be like yeah i bet uh, this and this player is gonna get knocked out today and they're <laughs> they're, they're gonna they're gonna, you know, gonna get knocked out and land in the hospital wing. Stuff like that. I bet that happens. There, there has to be, like, a darker side to that universe, right? And I am genuinely curious, now that you have been watching my gameplay. Let me know in the comments down below what you think that I should be focusing on in terms of improvement. Let me know what you think that I'm not doing properly just yet or maybe you are one of the people that has already come up with a certain mechanic that's not necessarily part of the game it's something that you invented if, if there's anything like that let me know let me know I, I would love to see how you guys are approaching this game oh god who is close to getting it though is it our team because if it's us if it's us, they're done for. Because we're already at 70 points. Snitch gives us 30, which means we win. Woo, baby. Oh, wait. You can actually see the progress on who's closer to the snitch. And we're a whole lot closer. We're going to get the snitch. We're going to win this match by getting the snitch. I'm telling you right now. Yep, there we go. There we go. I mean, this was kind of a speed run, right? I was pretty quick. I was pretty quick. But that was the final already. There was a really small tournament, but we're moving on to the World Cup right now. This was the try was its cool Squidish Cup, but we're going to the World Cup right now. Oh no, the cup's still in progress. I have one more match. Oh, that means we're not going to end the video here. I know you're winning and all, but you Durmstrang players could learn to smile a little yep okay we're not ending the episode here <laughs> we're not ending it here i'm i'm sorry i thought that was the final i i really thought the last match was the final but it wasn't which means one more match in this arena which once again i think looks stunning stunning to say the least and I, I really want to see what's going to happen in the uh, the World Cup. Maybe they have a special cutscene for that. Maybe there will be some dialogue. I don't even know. But just looking at the map for a bit. It's, it's really sick. I love that. I took my time to look at the map and then steal the ball. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Ow. You know what? This match, I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a beater. I wanna beat people. Has lost control. <laughs> <laughs> the timing, the timing on that was actually insane. Um, uh, I wanna become a beater, but I can only become a beater after eight seconds remaining. That's kind of messed up. That's kind of messed up. The one second that I change to a beater, I get. Oh wait, where's the ball? Where is it? Oh, there it is. No! How did I miss that? Okay, beater. Beater. I'm gonna smack people with bludgers. I'm telling you right now. Okay, there it is. Gonna hit that guy. No, nope, missed. I tackled him though. Summon a bludger. And once again, like, being a beater literally means being the beater. Right? You're just <laughs> like that. You're just smacking people. I just hit them with the bludger. And now I'm going to hit him with a tackle. There we go. And essentially, you just want to knock people out. That's what you do. That's what you do as a beater. That's basically what you do as a beater. Just like that. The ball's there. Okay, want to summon the bludger. 
No way! Oh, I was just about to stop him. But that's what we talked about earlier, right? Like, this this sport is just really messed up. It's just kids beating each other up. Especially being a beater, you have to be a bully in order to enjoy this role in Quidditch. You can't tell me otherwise. Like, I'm literally punching, slapping, and throwing balls to other kids. It's so messed up. You can't hear me complain, though, because I absolutely love it. <laughs> so maybe I am the bully. We even scored. I will say, in terms of, like, dynamic gameplay, being a chaser is probably the most dynamic way to play this game, simply because you can still tackle people, but it's not your main objective. You can score as well as tackle people, right? So I will say that I like playing chaser the most right now. And we're close to getting the snitch as well. So if I score just three more goals and we get the snitch, we're going to win. And then it's on to the World Cup. Dodge this and see ya. No way I passed that. I did not want to pass that. I was trying to score that. But we're going to score it anyway. <laughs> We're so close to the seeker, uh, to the to the snitch. And by the way, the you, there the we snitch. go. Two more goals and we win. But by the way, um, have you guys heard about the Harry Potter HBO show? I am not sure what to think. I'm not sure what to make of that. I want to give it a chance, but. On the other hand, I just really do not want to be disappointed. And I feel like I'm going to get disappointed because reboots and remakes and whatever, they usually don't work out for the best, right? I, I would love to see more backstory on, uh, you know, the battle uh, between oh, the Ordo, the Phoenix and, um, and Voldemort. And I would love to see more backstory from multiple different characters like the the founders of Hogwarts, stuff like that. Maybe even explore other schools and stuff like that. I would love to see that, but I'm so afraid that they're going to mess up that show badly. But uh, there we go. We messed up Hogwarts 100 to 10. And uh, that means that we are now, this time for real, officially heading over to the World Cup. So this time for real, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the World Cup.